Hello everyone and welcome back. Dear students, today we are going to discuss in brief some of the important applications of plant breeding. The first one is plant breeding is used for developing disease resistance in some important crops. Uh, you know that a wide variety of uh, crop plants are being destroyed by fungal, bacterial and viral pathogens. And in view of this, plant breeding has been used to develop some of the varieties which are resistant to disease. For example, we have a variety of wheat which is known as Himgri and this variety is resistant against leaf and stripe rust as well as hillbutt. Okay? In Brassica, a variety known as Plusa Swarnum uh, has been created which is resistant against white rust. Then we have cauliflower. In this plant, Pusa Shubra has been created. Okay? Another variety is uh, Pusa Snowball K1 and both these varieties are resistant to black rot and curl blight black rot. And then in Kalpi, a variety known as Pusa Komal, uh, which is resistant to bacterial blight, has been uh, created through plant breeding. And finally, in Chile, uh, a variety known as Pusa Sadabahar, uh, which is resistant to Chile mosaic virus and tobacco mosaic virus, has been created through plant breeding science. Uh, the next import, uh, important application of plant breeding is uh, plant breeding helps us in developing resistance to insect pests. You know that uh, insect pests, uh, it, it represents another major cause for large scale destruction of uh, crop plants and crop produce. Okay? Insect resistance in host uh, crop plants may be due to a number of uh, factors. For example, these factors can be morphological, they can be biochemical or they can be physiological okay that means a plant is able to resist the attack of insects uh, on account of the morphological features biochemical features or physiological features okay say for example hairy leaves in several plants are associated with resistance to insect pests for example resistance to jacidus which is a type of insect in cotton and cereal leaf beetle in wheat okay uh, that means your resistance hai against uh, jacidus in cotton and against uh, leaf beetle in wheat it is because of the hairy leaves uh, in wheat uh, solid stems led to known preference by the stem soft fly and smooth levered and nectarless cotton varieties do not attract bollworms this is also one of the important feature uh, which helps the plants to resist the attack of insects that means if you are having a variety of uh, wheat and that variety of wheat is having solid stems it will not be preferred by the stem safly okay and similarly uh, <clears throat> if the leaves are smooth and nectarless the cotton varieties won't attract the ball worms okay and one more important biochemical feature that helps the plants to resist the attack of insects is high aspartic acid content, low nitrogen and sugar content in maize leaves, okay, to resistance uh, to maize stem borers, okay. In maize, if you are having high aspartic acid content, which is an amino acid, and low nitrogen content, uh, besides low sugar content in leaves, it won't be affected by the maize stem borers. Some of the important examples of the crops which have been created to uh, overcome the attack of insects is uh, in Brassica, a variety known as Pusa Gaurav has been uh, created through plant breeding, and this uh, variety is resistant to the attack of aphids. Okay, here, yeah. a uh, flat bean in flat bean, two varieties have been created Pusa Sam. 2 Pusa Sam 3. Uh, these two varieties are resistant against Jacidus, Aphidus, and fruit borers. Okay. And in Okra, Bindi, uh, Pusa Savani, uh, Pusa A4 uh, have been created, and these two varieties are resistant against shoot and fruit borers. Then, one more important application of plant breeding is uh, plant breeding has been used for. Uh, creating high yielding varieties of crops you know that agriculture is the backbone of almost uh, uh, 
the all the countries of the developing world and so is of india okay and the development of several high yielding varieties of wheat, wheat and rice in 1960s it has increased the yield spur in it area in our country and this period is known as green revolution because it has uh, revolutionized the production of food okay uh, this green revolution was possible only because of plant breeding science example we have created uh, a variety of uh, wheat uh, which is known as sonora 64 early uh, similarly another variety of wheat charbati sonora uh, then we have created uh, safed larma and sonalika these are all different varieties of wheat which have created which have resulted in uh, increased production okay and similarly in rice we have created uh, two varieties uh, jaya and ratna all these varieties are uh, high yielding and they have increased tremendous they have added tremendous quantities of wheat and uh, rice to the annual production okay uh, then this is all for uh, today and in the next part we are going to discuss uh, some other applications of plant